evening, our top local story tonight. Will Rhode Island soon have a new budget? The state has been operating under old funding levels after a disagreement, if you recall, between House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello and Senate President Dominic Ruggiero. Yes, as you see there, it boiled over a month ago. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian speaking with one lawmaker who is optimistic the end is in sight. Kim. Jared, that's right. Just last week, you may recall, mayors from across the state sounded the alarm about the potential impacts on their communities due to this continued budget stalemate. And with the August 1st state aid deadline now looming, the heat is on. And I am going to send you all home. One month since the startling announcement from House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello. And the act as amended passes. The budget passed shortly thereafter by the Senate left in limbo. Now after a series of private meetings between the House Speaker and the Senate President in the last several weeks, a caucus of Senate Democrats is scheduled for Monday night. I think the Senate President is going to articulate to the Democratic caucus what he and the Speaker have been able to uh, negotiate and collaborate on with regards to the way forward on the budget and I think we're expected to see that the budget impasse will be um, broken. Senate Finance Committee member Lou De Palma believes the Senate will pass the House version of the budget without the amendment to the Speaker's proposed car tax phase-out plan that led to the impasse. Instead, that issue would be looked at separately. How do we ensure we can afford it? It's sustainable moving forward, so we need something in place to ensure that. Uh, and I think it needs to be something objective, not subjective. De Palma believes the full Senate could be reconvened within days of the caucus and is likely to bring the budget stalemate to an end. Potentially by this time next week, we could have a budget. I think so. The, the short answer is yes. And if the budget does pass this week, this would be the latest passage of the state budget since 1995, when the budget passed on August 7th. That's the latest it's ever passed in the last 50 years. Live in studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.